quick revision video on the mole and if you're not already subscribed please hit the button. So we'll start with some essentials. One mole is the amount of a substance that contains the same number of particles as there are atoms in 12 grams of carbon 12. So that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles and that number is the Avogadro constant, or Na for short. And there's the formula triangle that links all of that together. So if you want to calculate the number of moles, it's mass in grams over molar mass. If you want to calculate the mass you would need, it's moles times molar mass. And if you want to calculate the molar mass of something, it's mass over moles. So we'll put that formula triangle into practice by doing these calculations. So if you want to pause the video, have a go, and then play on for the answers. So we'll start with the left-hand side. How many moles are the following? So we've got 0.1 moles of sodium, 4 moles of carbon, 0.05 moles of oxygen. Remember, oxygen has an MR of 32, not 16. 5 moles of CO2 and 0.05 moles of Cl2. Remember, its MR is 71, not 35.5 because it's Cl2. So what are the masses down the right hand side? 2 moles of water will be 36 grams. Half a mole of calcium, 20.05 grams. 6 moles of sodium chloride, 351 grams. 0.2 moles of hydrogen, 0.4 grams. And 5 moles of helium, 20 grams. So we'll move on to how to calculate how many particles we've got. And we're going to be looking at molecules, atoms and electrons in water. So in 18 grams of water, we're going to ultimately calculate how many of these things we've got. First thing we need to do is work out how many moles we've got. So how many moles of water molecules, oxygen atoms, hydrogen atoms, atoms in total, and electrons are there in 18 grams of water. Well obviously 18 grams of water is a mole of water, so you'd have one mole of water molecules you'd have one mole of oxygen atoms because each molecule contains one oxygen atom. You'd have two moles of hydrogen atoms because each water molecule has two hydrogen atoms. You'd have three moles of atoms, so a total of three atoms in the molecule. And you'd have 10 moles of electrons because that hydrogen has one electron, so does that one, and the oxygen's got eight, so 10 altogether. So once you know the moles of things, you can turn that into a number, how many particles you've got, by simply multiplying by Avogadro's number. So a mole of water molecules is obviously Avogadro's number of water molecules, Avogadro's number of oxygen atoms, two times Avogadro's number of hydrogen atoms, three times Avogadro's number of total atoms, and 10 times Avogadro's number of electrons. So here's the formula triangle that links all that together. So if you want to calculate the number of things, you need to know how many moles you've got, and then you multiply it by Avogadro's number. And if you want to know how many moles you've got, and you know how many things you've got, you just divide that by Avogadro's number.